Good morning. We will pay attention to depreciation on fixed assets today. We will do two methods. The one method is the cost price method that's also called straight line method or fixed installment method. When we use this method, we calculate depreciation on the cost price for the whole period that you use the asset. So that's why it's also called straight line because you will write of the same amount of depreciation every year and that's why it's also called fixed installment. According to this method, an equal amount is allocated to each accounting period over the useful life of the asset. So if we decide to use this asset for five years, it means that we will take the cost price divided by five to see how much we have to write of each year. You can also divide the five into a hundred percent and that means that you have to depreciate your asset with 20% each year. If we look at the schedule that was drawn up here, this asset was purchased on the 1st of January 2011 at a cost of 10500 so the carrying amount, what it was worth, was 10500 After the we use the asset for a year at the end of the financial year, 31st December 2011. We will take this 10,500, divide it by 5, and record 2,100 as the expense for 2011. So the depreciation expense that will be recorded in the profit and loss account will be 2,100. And the accumulated depreciation account will be credited with 2100 So at the end of the year, the asset is not worth 10500 anymore. Because we depreciated it, it means that the carrying amount is what is it worth on that date is 10500 minus 2100 That will give you 8400 on 31st December 2012, we wrote of depreciation again 10,500 on the cost and the depreciation is 2,100. Now the total depreciation from the 1st of January up to the 31st of December 2012 is 4,200. So it's 2,100 for the first year and 2,100 for the second year. The carrying amount, what is it worth after the second year, is the cost price of 10,500 minus the 4,200 accumulated depreciation. So the asset is worth 6,300 at the end of December 2012. At the end of December 2013, we will write of depreciation on the cost price again, 2100 So our expense will be 2100 Our total depreciation that accumulated over this three-year period is 4200 plus the 2100 will give me 6300 what is the asset worth at the end of 2300? The cost price 10,500 minus the accumulated depreciation of 6,300. So the carrying amount is 4,200. And we will carry on doing this for the full five year period. At the end of the five year period, we will have a carrying amount of naught because then we've written of the total amount of depreciation. That means you can't go on writing of depreciation even if you still use the asset after the five-year period. You can only write of depreciation until you've written of the total cost price of 10500 if we use this asset in 2016, we will not write of depreciation because we've already written of the total amount up to the end of 2015.